What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So right now, I'm driving to go meet Mike, Smurf and WRX, um, over to do kind of like a little drive around car review type thing. So, um, on my way right now, so let's get going. I'm gonna keep on driving. All right. So we're cruising down to South Sac, like Little Saigon area. So it's right by SF Market. Gonna go meet up over at Top Speed, which is like a little, I don't know, it's like a tuning tuner shop, I guess. They have like a bunch of that random, uh, you know, random tuner stuff, like HID conversions and things like that. Um, a lot of stuff just imported from like Japan or China or something. So we're gonna go meet up over there and then uh, go from there, do the whole review and drive around and all that stuff. So it should be pretty cool. All right, we got that 4th of July traffic already, so we're just uh, still cruising, still going. I wish I was in that carpool lane, that sure does look a little nicer. All right guys, so we're almost there. I was a, a bit farther away, but obviously I'm not. So it actually only took me about, I don't know, nine minutes to get here or something like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, Let's uh, let's go see if this dude's here. I see him. I see that guy. What up? What's up? We're about to go on a ride along, I guess, right? I'll drive for a little bit and then yeah. we're gonna swap. Yeah, and uh, he's, he's gonna, gonna try trust out the hatch. The Asian guy to drive yeah, this car. Yeah, for sure. Good luck with that one. Hey, you have a WRX, so it shouldn't That's be a big right, deal. Sure. All right, guys. So we're here with Mike right now. Um, gonna take him on a cruise around, I guess. We'll maybe go hit the freeway off ramps or something. I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. Yeah. Your beard. So <laughs> you've got more hair on your chin than my entire body. Probably my chest has more hair <laughs> than your entire body. You don't want to see that either. <laughs> no, maybe we do. Maybe there's oh, maybe we do. Okay. Get, channel, get right? some of that. Yeah. <laughs> the personal channel. That's right? where the uh, the chest grooming happens. No, I'm right? okay with it. I think my beard should be okay with it. <laughs> but we're riding on a 2014, right? Yeah, it's a 14. Blue, amazing blue hatchback so this would be like my car but way better <laughs> oh look at that fresh cut oh yeah no, you gotta appreciate that cut too. right and ray vans anthony's dude. barbershop man oh, there you go plug them out what are you on right now? i am on stock suspension so oh, yeah so i have the stock actually like struts but i do have front sway bar 22 millimeter front sway bar 24 millimeter rear sway bar and then a uh, cardboard in links and I set it up like that so that the car will like oversteer a bit more so it, it gets rid of a lot of that front understeer that you get with the car. Yeah. So do you track, do you race, what do you do? Yeah, I do, um, I do autocross. Oh, so okay, like okay. last year I did all the Sacramento SCCA events. So I recommend anybody that like has a fun like sports car or even like a stock Jetta, you know, whatever, whatever you got, just get out there and go test out the limits of your car on the uh, on the autocross. Well, it's super that, fun. It's way safer, especially like I know when I was younger when I had when I got, I got my first DSM, so it was a GST ninety six. I want to say I don't yeah. remember what it was. It was red, but when it was raining like crazy, I purposely tried to slide it. Oh yeah. Just in case yeah. something happened, but at least I was in a controlled environment. When I say controlled, I mean like the street, but whatever. No yeah. one knows around. Yeah, controlled enough, right? Yeah, so yeah. you're right. Like if you have whatever car, it's probably a good idea to try to track yeah. it a little bit. I like just learning the lim like the capability and the limits of the car because you know you never know what kind of situation you're getting into, and you want to know what to do. You won't want to say, "Oh, I know what to do." You know, mm -hmm. I get sideways. You know, I've seen a hundred videos, right? Well, yeah. a little different in real yeah. life, right? I, mean, when I watch a bunch of videos. I absorb it. That's my superpower. Yeah. That took me off guard. <laughs> I had to two-hand this camera. That's what she said. But no, I mean, damn. Yeah, you can you can rotate wow, it a bit, you know. We, I don't are, know. we were moving in Mexico, of course. The CTSV brake conversion on this thing. So I actually put front bimbr uh, bimbros on it. So it grips really well. Wow, that grip is fucking yeah. crazy. I mean, it'll slide around damn. a bit, but... Maybe we can get another run on it right here. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna strap down. You guys can watch my face. Holy ball set. Holy ah. So. Ah. That's so crazy. Like, if you can see my eyes, they're full slanted. They are full slanted. I would think at least one. I'm not exaggerating my body. There we are. There. Never slip. That was. <laughs> that was a sick ass all wheel drive fucking slide. That was pretty really fun. 
wow so and with the like with this open diff like the transmissions in these like compared to an sti like that's like the one reason i wish i bought an sti is because you get a lot of front wheel slip those brakes Damn, and they're good brakes oh my gosh that's like on a dime <laughs> yeah or on a penny it stops smaller, or a dime it stops smaller. well <laughs> it stops well wow. so well let's head into the traffic and uh we'll give mike a turn right Ooh, I, you know what do you need a turn i was gonna say i'll drive your car by this point I myself. hey i want you to drive a hatchback <laughs> though man i like tripod a lot like get three wheel like i wouldn't be surprised if we had like one wheel up in the yeah. back or something but it tripods hard and uh do you have a driveway that uh, put three wheels my driveway doesn't but most driveways like even with the stock ride height like a, you guys will see it in the exterior shots everybody can say oh your monster trucking you need to go more low yeah, right of course. more Everyone's low like, more low well, like, here, here's the thing like the current youth culture yeah. everyone loves stands down right so the car can like look sick as hell zero performance right and everyone will love it right everyone will like it but your car can be a monster truck with the most internal mods and you race the shit out of it yeah you'll get like zero likes yeah zero unfortunately. likes unfortunately yeah it's got a, it's hey it feels like it's my car yeah, just getting not. taken off there's no bounce there's nothing yeah. so reason is there a reason why you don't have a short shifter is it like a track um, reason so i have this stock short throw shifter which is an sti like Subaru short throw sh shifter, right? Uh -huh. um, I don't, I don't particularly like the little stubby ass really? shifter. I don't like that cop one. Like every time I'm in there, I'm like, where's my stick shift? I don't. I would say like, hey, maybe you're quicker to like uh, go back down, but I feel like the notchiness of it and all that is good. So I, I definitely like having a, a short throw. Yeah. Dude, this car sticks. Yeah, like, right. It definitely goes where you point it. Yeah. Like I, it. It points. Yeah. Like you point it and it's going that way. I felt it rotate like I think a little bit. Like yeah. I can feel a little bit yeah, of I backed off because I'm like mm, Yeah, yeah. Mm, but Asian driver no survivor. You heard that heard <laughs> of that, right? Blake, I'm I not haven't even... heard that one. Okay, well you first heard time, it today. first time. Asian driver no survivor, so we're gonna go to a nice little NASCAR circle. Yeah. Funny story about this apartment, methods. Um, uh that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. There's a uh yeah. Yeah, I, I my sister's lived there before and you know my story. Well, hopefully I've grown she up wasn't in one of them. No, she's definitely not. Okay. But uh, we've known, known. Yeah, her. yeah. No. Oh wait, no. Crackheads were back then. Meth heads are now. All oh, right. But let's. Well, we'll get out of this little neighborhood and drive a little around a little bit. Just get a real feel of this car. What you said is on stock suspension, and it doesn't feel like it's stock. Yeah. Well, the sway bars stiffen these cars up okay, a that, lot, that's what I mean, yeah, that's that what makes it really stiff. Right. Put you in your seat. Yeah. I mean, it's not. The car's not like fast by any means. Like it's, you know. Moderately quick. The I tires would say. are loud. Yeah, the tires they? are loud. Yeah, dude, they I'm are definitely not gonna take this like you, but <laughs> I can. Oh man, that is. I'm not even pushing it, but what's up, Evo? I thought that was an Evo. It just had the hood scoop. <laughs> no, that's a that's a Corolla S. <laughs> Did you see the hood? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. has a hood scoop like an Evo. Yeah, well, but... South Sac, so I mean, Oh, that's sense. right. That's right. Your yeah. tires has a pretty good amount of deal with it too. Yeah, tires are such a big. A big deal like you know people are like oh i need to get wheels Unrelated. and like stretching your tires right it's okay i'm good okay mine's, mine's, like, a, mine's a little stretch I, I mean i get it for fitment like yeah. if you have to do that but uh, square setups better obviously for hand right you know you're not you know, wrapping it all around right. but uh yeah i'm i like grip i yeah. like grip no. i like slip too but i like you know well you have a very good balance like watching you drive it uh -huh. there is a lot of grip and then when you slip there's you have enough grip to recover or yeah. point it to where you want to go right right and you then can really it, correct it. instantly you have that nice grip again without that uncontrolled grip you know where it's like whoa, whoa, whoa yeah, like yeah. then you're back in control not doing no yeah. i've done that plenty of times in my oh, camaro oh yeah oh my oh my god my camaro is real well my camaro was real world drive when i had it mm -hmm. and that thing when it slipped it was like oh you yeah. gotta control it and figure out where you're gonna counter steer yeah it. exactly the car i learned on in high school i had a 68 mustang so like oh. that's what i learned to like you know exactly work on you know about. i yeah. i restored the or kind of restored that car i did what a lot of you guys are doing i took a semi decent car and threw a shitload of money into it and then you know kept upgrading it wow, and now nice. it's sitting in the garage broken again because oh, burnouts happen and you know 
that's that's how you break cars but it's fun in the it, process yeah. the brakes are really good i just wanted to point that out oh, like yeah. i just i stopped short of this car in front of me mm -hmm. because i you know no, no feeling that this is my car i stopped too far from right. the front car because i thought the brakes would be like a little bit longer but it's no a, it was like it's touchy like like right at the top it's more so at the top like right. you feel more confident with it for sure so what, what are you what's your goal for the new windshield uh 20 000 subscribers i'm gonna get a new windshield well, guys, guys so he's gonna get a gtr and then <laughs> i'll get the windshield so i think that'll <laughs> talk about a big difference yeah and i've, I've tried to be uh better i don't well, usually drive like this unless it's a there, there is a grace period yeah. of like driving the car it's the first month yeah, yeah. i mean don't they all know that yeah you you give them the hey i don't want my insurance rates to go up excuse that's true and they're usually or you got they usually shit, let you off with that. Yeah, my yeah. Babies coming out of my wife. Right. My house is on fire. Exactly. You know, I stuff. have to be drifting <laughs> if I take a shit, right? Right. Like, I that's... mean, this corner tells me to drift. It has that car that's kind of sideways right. on two wheels on yeah. the sign. We need more of those signs everywhere. Yeah. And there should be a Subaru instead of a big rig. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, I think that would be good. I'm just saying. I, but, I would like that. But back to your car, I love it. Thanks, man. You're a madman for driving your car the way you do. Thank you. You are a brave man. And okay, I can definitely say that there are a lot of Subaru guys, including me, I'm guilty. We don't play with our car as much as you do. And I'm guilty of the same, and I know most Subaru guys are. We don't drive like you do. You got a lot of people baby it. They do baby yeah. it because I mean, there's two things. It's really damn expensive. Yeah. I mean, the car generally is fairly expensive. They break either way. Yeah. Well, so, that, but with that mentality, that's, that's like, why you are you the way you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's gonna break, it's gonna break. Yeah. And I want to at least like break it for a reason. True. All right, guys. So that was really cool. Uh, Mike's a really cool guy. So it was awesome cruising around with him. So we're gonna go get some uh, B-roll footage. We're gonna get some rolling shots. So I'm gonna get next to this one dude and do like a couple cruisers. That way you can get some cool shots of that. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for watching that video. That was kind of mine's probably more the behind the scenes stuff. I'll you know roll whatever I have in that GoPro footage. But uh, thanks a lot, Mike, for the opportunity to have you on my channel. Dude, so. thanks for letting me sit in your car. Yeah. Like you guys. Cool ass guy, cool ass beard, sick ass hair, and primo ass driver. Like, Thanks, man. I really fucking appreciate love it. It, it was Thanks. good. It was awesome. Good. All right, guys. So we'll talk to you soon. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you tonight at the meet, but this will be posted later. So if you guys were there, awesome. If not, maybe next time. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Later, guys. Wrench on. Pretty awesome. These are only $80 a piece, guys. So check out that link below. Um, if it says that they're out of stock, they restock like in a matter of a week. I would think at least one. I'm not exaggerating my body. There we are. There. Every slip. That was. <laughs> that was a sick ass all wheel drive fucking slide. That, that was really fun. Wow. So and with the like with this open diff like the transmissions in the. Look at that. That thing is fucking sick. Man, that's badass, dude. What's that? That thing is badass. <laughs> Thanks, man.